I wish to send a warm message of goodwill and Happy New Year greetings to my fellow Kenyans, wherever you may be in the country and beyond. As we say goodbye to the ending year, we are at the same time set to enter a most critical year in our country's history. For the new year, 2022 is yet another transitional year when the old regime must give way to a new one, as is now the tradition in our evolving democracy. As we edge in towards the new year, it is useful to briefly recall where we have been before focusing on where we wish to go. The past two years, 2020 and 2021, have been most traumatic for Kenyans and indeed for the rest of the world. We came under siege from the COVID-19 pandemic and the attendant challenges. For us in Kenya, the pandemic only worsened an already staggering economy and an overloaded health sector. It intensified the already high cost of living, wrought on Kenyans by an unrelenting public debt burden due to the government's choice of costly loans. To honor its debt commitments, the government has had to impose a punitive taxation regime that has stifled the people's lives. While the health sector is one of the Jubilee government's flagship assignments in its Big Four agenda, it is an open secret that the health sector has taken a beating not just because of COVID, but poor planning and bad policies. The Ministry of Health has many unanswered questions, beginning from budget lines that have remained with the Ministry while the services have been devolved. There have also been unexplained financial scams, ranging from hired medical equipment through mobile clinics all the way to what is now called the Kemsa Billionaires Scam. The citizens' confidence in public service is shaken. Other sectors that have taken a beating are education, security, transport, SMEs, and the energy sectors. The issues facing edu the education sector are daunting. Long closures and 100% transition means a crowded school calendar and classrooms and a disturbing trend of arson and vandalism in schools. Most frightening is how to carry out five credible national examinations in 2022 due to the introduction of the CBC system and double intake in secondary schools. In security, the lives of the people seem to mean nothing as every day has become a normal killing day. In the labor sector, Kenyans have lost their sources of income and even lost confidence in themselves. It, also, it almost sounds hypocr hypocritical to wish our long-suffering people a happy and prosperous New Year when most indicators are that 2022 will be another difficult year. Yet we must not lose hope, for sometimes hope is all there is to live for. Remarkably, 2022 is indeed the year of hope. The year offers the country the opportunity to reboot and restart despite the burdensome challenges that will follow us into the new year. Yes, all the promises that were made by the outgoing government to reduce the cost of food, electricity, and fuel have remained in the realm of hope deferred. 
Yes, poverty has escalated as businesses have either closed, relocated, or downsized. Yes, unemployment has soared as those who previously employed joined the unemployed through job losses. But we must still hope. Yes, in 2022, we are likely to see an escalation of economic and social misfortunes as more loans become due and the government increases taxes so as to repay the debts. Yet, 2022 should not be another experience of the impunity in the management of public resources. Yes, Corruption has been normalized over the last nine years. It is normal to talk about budgeted corruption by cartels. Annual reports from the Auditor General and Controller of Budget bear horrid evidence how money meant to be stolen is specifically budgeted for as money to be stolen. The good news, however, is that the year 2022 can be the turning point in the country's history of political mischief, economic banditry, and cynical leadership. For a start, it must be the year when we as Kenyans rededicate ourselves to defeating all evil schemes that seek to overthrow electoral democracy. We must rise up to resist subversion of free, fair, and verifiable elections. Equally, we must guard jealously our freedom of association and our inalienable right to choose leaders without them being imposed upon us by no matter who. Through coercive and intimidatory methods is a perilous path for any country to take. Kenyans must say a resounding no to this in 2022. The country has been lied to that it needs what some have cynically called a transiting leader. There is no such thing as a transiting leader in our constitution. Kenya transited into a new order under a new constitution in 2010. The choice for Kenyans is either continuity or a new beginning. Kenya requires a leader with conviction to hoist the banner of new beginnings in economic recovery and governance. The time has come when we must go beyond the empty politicking that has gone on for the past four years. We must now seriously place raw emotions and unhelpful ethnic sentiments aside and stand with our country. In the new year, at whose threshold we are, I purpose to be on the presidential ballot paper as the person to lead the country out of both historical and resurgent political mischief and economic banditry and malaise. I will shortly be unveiling my agenda for the country under the ANC 2022 manifesto and under the clarion call of Uchumi Bora Napesa Mufukoni. I purpose to lead Kenyans of goodwill to reject strongman bullying tactics by cartels that intend to pre-rig elections through imposition of hand-picked leaders. It is such mischief that leads to post-election troubles that Kenya must completely part ways with. Kenyans must be free enough to weigh the capacity of leaders and elect the leaders they want. Happy New Year.